Well, Labor Day marks the traditional start of the presidential campaign's final stretch, but one family in a battleground county has been paying close attention for a while. Ohio residents Fred Harris and his grandson Darius Harris first spoke 10 months ago with Steve Goldblum, the creator of the brief but spectacular series. Here now is his conversation with them about how they're viewing this critical choice. I'm sitting next to my grandfather, Frederick Harris. I'm sitting next to my dear grandson, <laughs> Darius Harris. <laughs> I grew up in the 50s and 60s. We fought the civil rights movement, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, the Deep South. When I was a little boy, eight, nine, 10 years old, when we would go downtown and my mother wanted to use the bathroom, she had to go downstairs in the courthouse in a dungeon in the basement. And I couldn't understand why, why can't my mother use the bathroom? See, these are the kind of things that made me angry. And when I did go into the military and I had time to spend in Mississippi and Alabama and Georgia, I seen a different type of racism. And that racism was right in your face. I seen people get beat. I seen them get dog sicked on them. And I said, why? I was angry, I was embarrassed, I was hurt. And I still carry that, that hurt with me today because I'll never forget it. It definitely does make me angry that the world was actually like that at a point in time. I couldn't imagine living like that. I would be angry every day. That anger and that hurt never goes away and that'll be with me for the rest of my life. The people are angry, they're tired of the Democrats and they're tired of the Republicans. I tell people all the time, you had the Democratic Party over here, you had the Republican Party over here, and you had the people in the middle. Politics needs to be given back to the people, not these parties. And that's what happened here in Trumbull County. That's why a traditionally Democratic county went for Donald Trump. The key to the Democratic Party in the state of Ohio is the black vote and the unions. Don't take our vote for granted. Let them win it without us. That's the power of the black vote. My first vote actually was President Obama back in 2012. I was just graduating high school. I felt proud when Obama got elected because he actually gave me hope that actually a black man could actually get that high up. I kind of don't see that happening for another 100 years. This is where we disagree a little bit. Mm -hmm. It can happen if you make it happen. That's called leadership. You have to step forward. You know, my grandson tells me he's not interested in politics. And I explained to him, everything that takes place in the United States of America is under a politician. Since 2012, every single politician basically, yeah, they say one thing, and we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. See, this is where we disagree. I hear what you're saying. So you know what you do? You go out and you make them change. The current president, I mean, he's, <sighs> the way he acts is nuts. But, <laughs> the way he acts is nuts. But I, me personally, I like the way he acts because it's like he's not afraid. I feel he's the best candidate because to me, the Democratic Party, they don't have anybody in my eyes, really, that's gonna really push anybody. He doesn't understand the effect that the stuff that comes out of his mouth. And if we're not careful, he's gonna destroy the United States of America. I think we got a political turmoil now, and I think history will look back on us in this time and say, wow, what happened? What do I derive most pleasure from? <laughs> Debating. I hate to say it, but I like to debate. Well, I like to talk to people like my grandson and them, and I like to go back and forth. My name is Darius Harris. My name is Fred Harris. And this is our brief but spectacular take on the old and the new. Well, since the world has changed dramatically in the 10 months since that conversation, Steve Goldblum recently followed up with Fred and Darius to see if their politics have shifted. Fred and Darius, thank you both so much for being here. Uh, we appreciate it. Thank you. Well, it's hard to believe that it's been 10 months uh, since we last spoke. It, it feels like it's been longer than that. And I wanted to follow up with you, starting with you, Darius, has your perspective on President Trump changed since we last talked. Back then he was 
he was fine. But during the whole pandemic and how everything's been unfolding, I kind of kind of don't agree with the way how he's proceeding with things. Darius, I just want to be clear. Are you planning on voting for President Trump this November? No, no. sir. Right now, I don't see anybody that I would vote for. What was it about President Trump's behavior in the past 10 months that pushed you away from him? I disagree with basically 85, 95, pretty much 100% of everything that he's been doing. But what do you make of President Trump referring to Black Lives Matter as a symbol of hate? Well, to me, he just, he just doesn't understand. Am I? Because he don't understand the real meaning of what it is, the whole movement, what it's about. Mr. Harris, in the video we just played, you describe uh, brutal images of violence where police sicked dogs on, on black people. Um, since the killing of George Floyd, President Trump has said that he would sick the most vicious dogs on protesters. How does that kind of language and imagery today make you feel? He's just mouthing off for the public. He thinks it'll get him votes. He doesn't understand the impact that that has on people's life and it's dividing the country. Mr. Harris, you described the black vote as being crucial in winning the state of Ohio for the presidential election. Vice President Biden was not the Democratic nominee when we last spoke. He is today. How do you feel about his chances uh, of winning in your state? The reason why Donald Trump outpolled Hillary four years ago is because she could not turn out the black vote. Not that Biden is going to turn the black vote out, because he's not that great neither. What's going to turn the black vote out is Donald Trump. Darius, how do you feel about Vice President Biden as a candidate? Me personally, I don't, I don't like Joe Biden as a candidate. Or he did all right as vice president, but to me, Joe Biden really isn't on my list. Vice President Biden announced that Senator Kamala Harris would be his running mate. She's a woman of color. How do you feel about uh, her addition to the ticket? I feel like he's just doing that to get the vote. Mr. Harris? That will rally the black people like you've never seen in the United States of America to vote. And the Republicans, there's no way they can suppress that black vote. It's history. No different than when Barack Obama was elected. Okay, well, uh, I recognize that you two have different opinions on this, but one thing that does come through is, is the overwhelming respect and warmth that you two have for each other as family. So we appreciate that, and uh, we appreciate you taking time for us today. Thanks a lot. Thank you for Thank having you. us. And you can find all of our brief but spectacular stories online. That's at pbs.org newshour brief.